Welcome to the Landis Performance Channel. Today we're building a set of wheelie bars for this 32 Ford that's going to compete in Sick Week, which is a drive and drag event in Florida. So follow along as we build the wheelie bars. This is the Rick Jones kit we're going to assemble. It's going to be a 60 inch long wheelie bar. And follow along and see how it's done. One of the things I did before starting the filming is we put rosette holes in the tube adapters. You don't want all the weld, all the pressure on the weld around there. That's the reason you put the rosette. It's a piece that some people forget to do. Anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, get these done. Okay, so now that we have chased all the threads, because we welded on them and sometimes it distorts the tube end, so I like to chase the threads. We'll never seize the rod ends now, and we're gonna stick threaded rods in to set the lower bars at the width we want to build the assembly. And you'll notice on these bars, I welded the left-hand plugs in. I always do that because Every now and then, you forget which end you grab, and you may weld a left thread end into the wrong tube. So I weld those first, that way you can't mess up.
Okay, so I thought I'd stop here and kind of just explain what we were doing building the wheelie bars. We did it in fast motion because it takes a lot of hours to build these and it'd probably get real boring real quick. So first thing we did was we measured how long we wanted them, cut the main tubes to length, put them on the fab table, and then use threaded rod at the axle point here of the rear wheels and then another rod through the heim joints where they mount to the rear end. And then we were squared it up, we measured it with a tape measure, doing an X method off of multiple spots until we were sure that we had it completely squared. And then we went ahead and clamped it down tight and then fabricated the main bottom bar frame with the X in it. So then we came over to the, to the car and started assembling the unit. We came here on the rear end and we tied it up and then got the first mount mounted, used the angle finder and made sure that the bracket, what angle the bracket was at and then copied it on the other side. Then we used a plumb bob and with the plumb bob we were able to make sure that from the distance from the axle to the center line of the rear end housing which was the, at the plumb bob they were the same. That way we know the wheelie bar is square to the rear axle of the car. Went ahead and welded all those brackets in. We made some top brackets. Had to grind off the powder coat and stuff. And then we put our top bar in. At that point, we, measured, we set this axle height at six inches. So that is where we're gonna start off as our baseline for wheelie bar height. Then we were able to measure the top bar for the distance with what I use is 10, 10 th turns from all the way bottomed out. That way we can go down a little bit and up quite a bit. So we have plenty of tuning. Plus these Himes here only have six threads showing. So you can run those out quite a bit and really get the wheelie bars up high. Or if you end up changing the rear end angle, the pinion angle, uh, which will then lower or raise the wheelie bar. We can uh, have plenty of adjustment for all that. So we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna cut these top bars. We're gonna drill the hole for the rosette, weld those in and uh, wrap this thing up. These people wanna get to the track. They're gonna do sick week here in Florida this week and uh, good luck and we'll go ahead and finish this up. Remember, subscribe, like, Leave comments if you have any questions or comments on the video and share. Thanks. All right, so the finished product, 32 Ford, small block Chevy, blown on E85 with a Holley Dominator, ready for a sick week. There's the wheelie bars all mounted up. Ready to go.